So ChatGPT5 dropped and everybody's talking about it. Some are talking about it positively and some people are just being negative about it. They're like, well, it's not as good as Claude or this, this and that and gra Yo, let's break it down, okay? I'm going to just be honest with you guys. This is the real truth why ChatGPT is much better and just for the average user. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com, your boy's backing out and did it again one more time. God damn it, they got me talking about AI, man. I guess this is the times now, right? <laughs> but this is a topic that I feel is important because not a lot of people are really focusing on the things that actually matter. And it's the user experience and actually pricing, which is... I don't know why no one really focusing, but probably the most important thing, especially in these times. So let me go in and open this up, right? We are on openrouter.ai. Shout out to them. It's a great service. Now let's go in and take a look at the pricing, right? So for example, right? So we have Chad GPT five in here and the input is $1.25 million tokens and output is $10 million tokens, okay? Now, if we go into clause on it, 3.5, right? It's $3, all right? It's a little expensive. And I could tell you guys that it adds up, right? I've been using cursor for a while now and I could tell you I'm paying around, you know, an extra, $130, $150 a month on top of what cursor already costs, right? I, I should just pay for the pro, I know, right? But to be honest with you, like this is ridiculous. The average person cannot afford to go in and be using anything from Entropic, okay? Don't get it fooled, all right? I know a lot of people go in and they'll be like, well, you know, it's the best model, this, this, and that. Guess what? You could do the exact same thing with Chad GPT for cheaper okay look at this one claude opus 4.1 this is ridiculous 15 dollars on the input 75 dollars on the output this is wild it's expensive it starts eating it up right whatever budget you might have is gonna get eaten up and if you're paying just for cursor the basics most likely that shit's gonna get eaten up early <laughs> i can tell you right now and this is the thing that no one is really talking about i mean when you put chat gpt and you compare it to a lot of the models that's in here right so we go into grok this is grok 4 the latest model right we're still talking about three and fifteen dollars it starts adding up i could tell you right now this is why this model is still to me, right? And I will say it's the new king. And we could look into the leaderboards, right? Now, of course, there's some people that do different tests, etc., right? But I could tell you there's a reason why this thing is popping up, number one. It's actually really, really good. Now, I will say that there's some models that are even cheaper, but I think that this is the number one competitor to Grok and to uh, Anthropic's claude and saunas and all that shit right like i'm gonna be just honest with you okay it's just it's much better okay as far as like just the pricing and, and that's the thing that a lot of people is not focusing on no one is really paying attention to this it's the hard numbers because when you go in and you compare both of them and you start looking at the numbers you're like okay this makes more sense because you're getting pretty much the same quality of work if not better in some situations with chad gpt right and on top of that they're making chad gpt 5 available for free right to even like the basic members right whoever signs up to the platform and you could even test it out on the website of course i'm pretty sure there's going to be some limitations but none of these other platforms are doing the same thing as far as like you know the pricing model and, and this is the, the stuff that, you know, a lot of people is not really paying attention to. I think that they could definitely drop something even way better than Grok, something way better than, than Claude that is more efficient. But the truth is, there are a bigger company than all of them. Okay. Now, for developers, we might say, well, we need the latest and greatest the truth is the average person who is the ones that's going to be paying for all of this because there's only so much, 
or so many developers that will pay to keep these companies alive, right? They're banking on getting the regular users and giving them the best model for them. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure they'll drop something a little bit more expensive because even if you search OpenAI, right, and we go into, let's see, I think it's the 4.0 model, right? Uh, let me see, where is it? Is it this one? No, let's see, let's see. We're going to find it. Okay, we have all those different ones. 04 mini, 40 search. There's so many models, guys. Like, this shit could get crazy. Okay, like, this is expensive. Okay, this is a uh, $5 per million tokens, 15 uh, per you know, million tokens on the output. It gets crazy, right? So, it is more than, than this one, but again. At the time, this was the best one. This was providing more value, okay? And, and it was a more powerful um, LLM. But now you have these other ones. That's, they're trying to beat this one, okay? And yeah, maybe they did beat them, but <laughs> OpenAI said, you know what? We're going to make GPT-5 cheaper than everybody and affordable for everybody and do damn near the exact same thing as these top models from all these other companies. So again, it, you know, it just blows them out the box. And that's the thing that a lot of people is just not paying attention to, right? So again, I will say Chad GPT right now, five is it's the king, okay? I'm, I gotta give credit where credit is due. And yeah, this is the one for me. Even I'm using this for all of my applications because to be honest with you, there's no reason that I should be paying over $75, $150. I had the last month, I had, I think, like $165 over the limit. Now, if I pay $60, okay, cool, that's fine. I, I don't mind that because I know I'm a power user in a sense. But to be paying $150, $160, $70 on top of the $20 from Cursor, yeah, that's not going to cut it for the average person, especially in these times. OK, that just doesn't make sense to pay for one tool that most people is not going to be able to to use that much anyways. But it just doesn't make sense at the pricing models that they have. OK, not Grok, not Entropics, any of the Entropic ones like it just doesn't make any sense. And that's what people need to really focus on. Stop talking shit about OpenAI and ChatGPT at the end of the day. This is the one that everyone's going to choose. And this is like this is like Nike. All these other random companies, like they might be good. I mean, shout out to Deep Seek. I like the Deep Seek model, but you're talking about Adidas and Reeboks. Okay. This is Nike. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're talking about Audis and, and BMWs. This is Mercedes. Okay, stop playing with open AI. All right. <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, guys, listen, if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to be dropping more AI videos talking about different AI topics, of course, in my own voice, not making it the same way how everybody else does it. Right. I'm going to do it my own way, the way how I like to somebody to talk to me about AI. You, you already could feel the swag. You could feel the sauce coming through the air right now. Okay through the airwaves, right? And you listening to this audio, right? And you watching this videos. Yeah, we doing it completely different. And I like it like that because, you know, this video is for people like me that like this type of content and this type of lingo. You know what I'm saying? So definitely uh, subscribe to the channel, show some love, leave a, a comment below. Have you used ChatGPT5, right? Um, do you feel like it's better than the other ones or do you still going to stick with you know, Sony and, you know, 3.5, the Grox and this, this and that. Like, oh, you're still going to do that, right? I'm going this with this, okay? Straight up, all right? Anyways, guys, I want to let you guys know that, yes, by the way, for anybody that's watching this right now, you're trying to get into the game. You want to get into become a developer, right? We're focusing on careers to help you 
get your first job. If you're struggling out here, you're freaking going and applying to a million jobs, doing four or five interviews, technical interviews. And right now you're at a point where, hey man, I just want to get a job. I want to get in. Okay. Definitely come to codingphase.com. That's what we focus on. We look at what's happening in the industry. We do real research. We don't just go in and create a curriculum just because it's popular and say, hey, we're just going to teach you React and the Mern stacking and call it a day and say, good luck finding a job, you and the next 500,000 other applicants. No, we focus on the things that's going to help you stand out in specific jobs and, you know, ecosystem, for example, like web administrator that you could learn in a month, email development that could learn in the second month, right? From there, learning front end development but with a focus shopify okay so instead of you going in just learning how to code and learning the same stack that everyone else is teaching we go in and find the best stacks or the best ecosystems that could help you land a position faster and you could actually get into the game guys this is a moment in time where what you need to do is get paid and actually build experience it's not about just learning skills to then from there be that guy with 20,000 repos on GitHub and doing 20,000 different Udemy courses and tutorials on YouTube and you still got nothing to show for, okay? So you definitely come check out codingphase.com and right now we have a 50% off So for the summer. So take advantage of that. Anyways, guys, listen, I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Peace.